bucket tooth system. It's our hammerless bucket tooth system. Um, actually just unlocks and locks with a standard ratchet. The hex head on that turn cam pin is machined to the overlap and tolerances between a metric socket and an inch socket, so either will work. It's a six, uh, we recommend using a six pointed socket to keep from stripping that hex head out. So if you go ahead and give it a turn, it's just a half turn to remove it, it's a half turn to install it. You can see there's a ramp on that pin. Um, that's what draws the pin down into the adapter. There's a matching channel, and then there is a rubber lock that seats into that detent. Seats in the detent. And the easiest way to see how that works is to install the pin with the, the bucket off. So if you go ahead and do that, you'll watch that, that rubber will compress. It only compresses at about 20%. And then once you get that half turn complete, you'll be able to see it and feel it hit that detent and you can see the rubber relaxes. So in normal operation with the pin locked, the rubber is in a relaxed state. So we don't anticipate any issues with wear life on the rubber because really rubber is, com when it is compressed is when it wears out. It's a symmetrical system, so you can install that lock on either side so that you can install the pin from either direction. Um, if you were to get into a situation where you did strip that hex head, there is a square drive on the opposite end that you can use as a plan B. The adapter nose design has nearly parallel lots of flat surfaces for absorbing load. We've got good torsional load absorption as well as impact load absorption. It's The adapter nose design is symmetrical also so that if you're in an application where it makes sense to flip teeth, you're able to do that as well. Hmm? And then we do have examples of all the profiles that will be available. This will be available from John Deere dealers starting at the beginning of July in the full line of profiles from a TK225, which is the backhoe size tooth, all the way up to a TK700 that fits an 870G excavator. Excellent.